today we are kicking off our new entertainment segment, The Spotlight. And boy, do we have a lot to cover between the Golden Globes to a big break in the Kim Kardashian robbery case. Crystal Pino from 106.3 The Groove is here with all of the details. We're gossiping today. Oh, I love it too. So yesterday, of course, we know the Golden Globes yep. happened and La La Land was the big, big winner. Yep. Unfortunately, though, they were a little overshadowed. We'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, first of all, they scored some pretty big awards. Uh, best Actor in a Musical or Comedy, Best Actress. So Emma Stone, Ryan Gosling, the two main leads, won something. And then we've got to talk about the director. Best Director of a Motion Picture, Damien Chazelle. He's the youngest director in Golden Globe history. 31 years old. This is huge for him. He's going to go from being somewhat known to now being thrust into the spotlight and everybody's going to know about him. Yeah, well, every all seven categories that they were in, win, 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 win. That's like that's record breaking for them too. Yeah, another show on ABC that one was uh, Blackish. We yes. she won the uh, best musical or comedy TV series. Got to give it up for Tracy Ross. Good win for yeah. her. So happy to see her taking this award it's home. Really emotional. Yeah, she definitely was. It was a good win for her. Yeah. So got to give her props on that one. But like I said, it was a little overshadowed by one person, Meryl Streep. Yeah. Her acceptance speech. Uh, she was being uh, a Awarded for a lifetime of notable work, which yeah. is well deserved. However, I think that was the last thing that was on her mind yeah. during this entire speech. Uh, we have a little bit about what she said last night during her speech. It was that moment when the person asking to sit in the most respected seat in our country imitated a disabled reporter, someone he outranked in privilege, power, and the capacity to fight back. It, it kind of broke my heart when I saw it, and I still can't get it out of my head because it wasn't in a movie. It was real life. And this instinct to humiliate when it's modeled by someone in the public platform, by someone powerful, it filters down into everybody's life because it kind of gives permission for other people to do the same thing. So there there was a little bit of backlash, but also obviously people were happy that she said this. One person who we know couldn't resist was the person that this was aimed at. She never said Donald Trump, but we all knew she was talking right. about Donald Trump. Of course, you know, Little Hands gets on Twitter and he just kind of goes right. crazy. So he said uh, she's one of the most overrated actresses. She doesn't know me. Basically said she doesn't have any, you know, legs to stand on yeah. when it comes to this. Not surprising. I'm not going to lie. Watching this last night, I was like, oh, Donald's yeah. going to go crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of sad that we're anticipating what he's going to say. So yeah. something else they did beautiful last night as well was the tribute that they did for Carrie Fisher and Debbie, Debbie Reynolds. Yeah. They said, you know, we lost a lot of big name actors and actresses, icons, yeah. but they had a special dedication to those two, and it was fantastic. So uh, uh, moving on to some news that involves uh, Fisher. Carrie Fisher. Yeah. <laughs> So supposedly she had this Prozac pill that she would carry around with her. Yeah, you can see it right there. And that's what they decided to put her ashes in. She wanted to be cremated, and that's what they decided to put her in. Of course, her sense of humor, yes. carrying her and following her into the afterlife. I thought this was hilarious when I first saw it. But then also a little bit bittersweet, thinking, yeah. okay, you know, her sense of humor carried on, but then it's also evident we lost her, yeah. you know. So definitely carrying on. Um, I do want to move on to some other stuff. We had talked about the Kim Kardashian. Kardashian robbery case. Yeah, big thing that came out this morning. Yeah, and you were the one that broke it to me. Like That's how I do. <laughs> <laughs> you were the one that was like, oh my yeah. gosh, they just got a break in the case. Well, now TMZ is showing the actual pictures yep. of the guys. Three of them have been revealed who they are. And as we said this morning on the show, three of them are also women. Yep. Um, a couple of them are involved in diamond smuggling. So, of course, they have to have a hand in this. This is a big deal for them. Hefty price on those diamonds that they took. Yes. So, we will find out more. They called it the walk of shame. Or, or the perp walk yeah. uh, when they got the pictures of the three guys leaving. So that was definitely some big news. We'll see what happens from there. You know they're going to yes. be in some major trouble. I'm sure more information will start coming out. Oh, as yeah. Goes on. So we had talked about it also this morning. Ben Affleck, him and you know his wife, Jennifer Garner, having some issues. Well, we're thinking they were going to get back together. Not so much. He was in the arm of another blonde. So people are wondering, who is this person? Yeah. Apparently, she's a sober life coach, mm. someone to help him detox. Um, 
holding arm in arm, not really how you see someone detoxing, but maybe that's what he needs, a companion to, to walk him through this. So hopefully he can get better, and hopefully this isn't something that's going to cause another rift between him and Jennifer Garner. So I think we'll have to find out if this is a romantic thing yeah. or if this is a professional thing, that she's maybe helping him through his drinking and his gambling and everything like that, maybe to get better to go back to Jennifer. Yeah, definitely. We will have to find <laughs> out. Dun, dun, dun. We'll we have it for see. you here, right? We'll have it here, right here. Uh, you guys could also listen to Crystal on 106.3 The Groove every weekday morning, and you can hear more celebrity gossip with me on the spotlight at 7:40 and 9:20 a.m. To stay connected any time of the day, follow Crystal on Twitter and on Instagram.